aside from a few scares. The next couple of days, they were a little boring. Nothing the agents couldn't deal with. Well, there was nothing new, nothing I was unfamiliar with. All I could do until a new abnormality appeared. One that was a lower risk than the punishing bird. Yeah. Until an abnormality that could be suppressed that was lower risk than the punishing bird appeared in the facility. Hood's most recent mission, well, that'll be left unresolved. Well, I didn't complete it on day 19, or day 20. As I had only three abnormalities I could suppressed safely, because with the punishing bird, if it breached and it got too close to the, any of the agents, well, one of those agents would end up dead, then it'd be a rush to suppress it before before it got back to its containment unit. Yeah. It wouldn't work. Let's leave it out there, okay? As for the first ordeal of the day, it's... It was an indigo dawn. Well, at least it wasn't an indigo noon. We know what those are like. By this point, I've dealt with a lot of them. Well, more than one, anyway.
and seeing as there was a minimal risk of collateral damage, I sent Paulinus in an mostly empty corridor to deal with one of them. As to the others... I knew it was time for a Zerg Rush. My most popular tactic against the fruits of understanding. avoided that corridor this time. And the next ordeal is a Crimson Noon. And we know what that involves, don't we? Well, I needed to do a little more work to flush it out, but... Well, you know how this works by now. Yeah. Deformed clowns... And then... Just the regular clowns. Well, a deformed clown that gets built like a gorilla. A deformed gorilla. <sighs> yeah, a lot of people get this wrong, okay? <sighs> Gorillas are apes, not monkeys. I mean, for a start, monkeys have a tail. Gorillas do not. <sighs> yeah, we're getting to that ordeal. Yeah, I kept sending someone to the express train to hell. Then what a train passing through the facility. I sent every combat ready agent over to Harmony the Skin, which appeared under the security department. Well, except Paulinus. As we know what his weapon did. Yeah, the training program paid off. It was time for Paul Linus to do his bit under the training department. Well, along with the 
Yarvers, of course. And that was it for the ordeals. Well, this day, anyway. After the agents were patched up, it was time to continue working. As there were still some agents to make combat ready. Or at least... to improve them. Yeah. Although I was worrying about the meat lantern, as I neglected to make sure there wasn't anyone with too high temperance. Because we know what happens when you finish a work too quickly. With the meat lantern. It got out. And I needed to send a lot of agents with guns to suppress it. I mean, it's good practice and all, but irritating to suppress it over and over again, especially when you don't know where it'll turn up. Or rather where it'll turn up and there's a risk that it could appear just as an agent walks under the lantern lure and then gets eaten. <sighs> Which is why I decided to only send someone to work with it if there was a danger of a quip half meltdown. Which happened round about now. When a level 5 Quivhoff Meltdown was nearing. My ability to stop the flow of time to locate the meat lantern. It was located on the way to <sighs> Yeah. Thankfully. We had a lot of guns to take care of him. Yeah, thankfully I remembered to have one of the Child of Galaxy suits 
equipped to one who's working on it. Which amplifies the effects of the pebble. <sighs> Which is kind of useful if you want to make it harder for them to die. Although if they do die, Child of Galaxy don't like that. <sighs> I was thinking at this time, where's the long range weapon? When I mean a long-range weapon, I don't mean the one derived from the hunter's research. I meant one that didn't pierce. I mean, it'd be useful for the punishing bird. That'd mean more of a chance of suppressing it without risk of it going back to its containment unit or killing one of the agents but sadly I didn't have that not at this point anyway
meat lantern broke out again. <sighs> Thankfully, it's not too hard to find. And also, thankfully, some weapons were made from abnormalities that we could make guns out of. Well, I'll put it this way. It'd be a lot harder for us to contain the meat lantern if we didn't have guns. <sighs> yeah, let's just say that a few more agents and clerks would be eaten.
once again, the Meat Lantern was free. And once again, I had to locate it and send gun-wielding agents, except Paulinus, to suppress it and send it back to the containment unit. mildly annoying, but there wasn't a lot I could do about it. It was right under the training department. same part that had the express train to hell. And you would not want any agent going the other way back. Because that would, well, result in the agent getting killed. I'd rather not have that happen. <sighs> Let's see. It would mean a few more days training for placement agent. That'd be the paperwork. And, oh yeah! The unfortunate loss of life! Because at least the clerk said... Rather the agent have some sense of self-preservation. The clerks... I'm not too sure of that. No, Hood's mission specifically said for different abnormalities. Not suppressed an abnormality four times. <sighs> A pity that wasn't the case, otherwise I could have 
completed this mission a lot sooner. I wasn't sure if she was continuing the story she told yesterday, or she was con <sighs> she was talking about a different employee. Although she asked why she didn't cry, well, <sighs> I doubt she has tear ducts. Although it was likely. It's going to be like this in the future, anyway. After that, I decided to fully expand the training department. After that, I found out... The Dusk Ordeal hadn't arrived yet. I suspected that'd be sometime around day 21, when there'd be a new abnormality to deal with. I was checking to see if there were any weapons that needed remaking. After that, I re-equipped any that needed replacements for the weapons they lost from Old Belief and Purpose. Uh, 
And then, well, I check the lob points and starting the day. Although, I gave Alex the weapon derived from the Meat Lantern research. And as for Gregory, mm, gave him penitence. As I thought it'd become useful if an agent lost their minds in the same department as it. Yeah. <sighs> This'll be another slow day. But it's the car before the storm. I promise you that. It's gonna get a lot rougher from 